here's how to determine the value of a capacitor, inductor, or for that matter, a resistor using a network analyzer. I haven't seen anything like this online and figured I'd <coughs> show how to do it. I just fired up this network analyzer. It's pretty warm, so it should be pretty accurate. And it should be said that there are plenty of, uh, of caveats in this as far as accuracy goes. Uh, you can get really crazy with this stuff, especially if, if you're up in, in ultra high frequencies. I work in the sub gigahertz band, so uh, I don't tend to get too wrapped around the axle about about uh, some of this stuff. Some, sometimes you have to, other times you don't. But uh, first we have to calibrate it, and uh, I've made up some of my own calibration standards that I've been using for years. and. Uh, They're, they've been tested against calibration standards, so I know they're very accurate. Accurate. I've made a, this device, which is just, just screws on here and acts as a little holder for my uh, for the jig I have to test it. What I have is the jig is just an SMA connector. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but. It's an SMA connector that has off of it a uh, pogo pin and believe it or not sandwiched between the pogo pin and the center connector on that is an 0402 capacitor and we're going to find out the value. So it's already preloaded. I'm going to do my reflection port extension uh, using just a, the same sort of end launch. So first let me calibrate it. I have my open. And I've got the network analyzer set from startup 300 kilohertz out to uh, 3 gigahertz. And it'll be, traditionally I would do this in the, in the Smith chart. So <clears throat> at a power of 0 dBm output. So now I'll go back to Cal, cali calibrate one port. Got my open in there, so open. Here's my short. Now I'll do my load, 50 ohm load. Okay, load, done. So now, I'm going to do a reflection port extension. I'll put on my empty <clears throat> and launch here. Glad I did actually. I didn't think it would matter at first, but it always does. Flinch port extensions on. Ah, got to turn them on. Okay. okay. Now let's see what we've got. Okay, let's dial it out to an infinite. Okay. That looks good. So now our reflection port extensions is on. Now we can just simply take our, our unknown capacitor. If you find a strip of capacitors and you don't know what they are, here's what you do. Typically they're rated at around 100 megahertz. And let's see, so marker, 300 kilohertz, let's make it 100 megahertz. And you can see this is a 5.2 PF cap at 100 megahertz. So now if I go out to 200 megahertz, it's 5.3, 300 megahertz, 5.5, 400, 5.8, what if I use this thing out at a gigahertz? See, it's a 14 PF cap out at one gigahertz. Everybody's favorite, 2.4 gigahertz. It actually looks like an inductor at that point. So, that uh, that's how to figure out what it is. This is a 5.5, .5, probably a 5 PF cap. 
there's inductances in the, my little connector and everything and impedances that and capacitances that might cause a problem, but that's how you do it.